Ah, uh, Michael Pinelli. This guy is uh, not good. I believe is how you say that. Yeah, whatever. All right, what's he gonna do? Oh, he should be fast fighter. Oh, nice. Oh, right. This is the guy who starts out with armor moves. Ugh, I hate furniture fighters. Greetings, everyone. This is the story of Michael Pinelli, yet another Todoroki player. Look how far I can reach, Shoto. Look how far my fingers reach. This is footage of me as a baby Seiji, having just 800 points. This match is from early April, no more than three weeks after the game's release. Alright, we need to do something about this. I'm trying to go in. Even at this point, I had already encountered this person before. I already knew that his plan would be to run away the whole match and time me out in order to win, and nothing else. He will accomplish this by using ice moves the whole time in the hopes that I will take damage at some point. <laughs> Sometimes he'll slip in a level 1 to do big damage. Yeah, this is the asshole who never goes in. Matches with him are a pain, to say the least. Running away is already cancer in this game because it's the unfun optimal strategy, but combined with something like Todoroki's dangerous mobility, it's really quite despicable. Too predictable, my man. Since I had faced him before and knew his plan, I had no choice but to mirror that strategy back to him, since at this skill level, I didn't have any reliable methods of catching him. Use all that mobility to fucking waste time. There you go. Hmm, interesting. That fireball is safe for him. Fireball is safe for him on block. Fascinating note. I'll time out you. No problem. <laughs> I knew I was going to run into that. Oops, I don't have any fingers. There it is, there's the level 1 he throws out. The only reason he's going in so much this round is because he's losing. If he had caught me with his initial rally this round, he would be running away the whole time. Michael Pinelli again? Sure. Boring, but sure. And on and on like this. Ad nauseum. This is the only thing he knows. Sometimes he would even win rounds like this, entire games even. You don't want to come in? Are you sure? The water's fine. Oops. My finger doesn't beat a fireball. That should be a given. Is all you want to do today, buddy? This uh, is what you want to do today, Shoto? This is how you want to experience the game? Jesus. Can't believe these people. Ha! <laughs> 
Хамжики. Play, this is how I will play. This is how Todoroki's play these days, huh? Same as it ever was, I guess. Really thrilling gameplay. Oh. Good team. No, oh, that's not even the last round. Jesus. So predictable. to do now. It's so fucking boring. Ah, just run into it. Yeah, <laughs> let this be over, please. Of course. Of course we have to go again. Oops, I fucking rolled at the wrong time. Just do a PU one. <laughs> just, like, just unload damage on him ASAP. Uh, otherwise, I don't really know what to tell you. I've sped up the footage to four times speed for you guys, but maybe if you listen closely you can still hear me bitching about how boring this is. The actual length of these three rounds is almost nine minutes. The Michael Pinelli experience is nine minutes long. Back and forth, back and forth. Anytime you try to attack that, you're in trouble. I should have saved this for the next round. What am I doing? Oh, I just don't want to, there to be a next round. God, this is such fucking... I think... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there you go. There's our fights with Michael Pinelli. What a dirtbag. 
What is he the only one on? What the hell is this? All right, let's see if we can experiment with some more ways to go in. Why you dash at the ice when that happens? You dash down. Look. Yeah. While that's happening, you only dash at the ice. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, interesting. That really is how it be. So you cannot dash at that move and you cannot hit that move. It doesn't matter. Oh! Guard Bureku! I couldn't even call Fatcom in time. <laughs> well, well, well. Boom. Uh, Denki protected him. Alright, I'll take the round, I guess. Uh, dude, can you go away? This is fucking so boring. Asshole's gone. Ah, oh, look who it is. It's Michael Pinelli. This guy sucks. He's so unfun to play with. It was six weeks before I encountered him again, and by then I was an adult Seiji. I had improved and matured as a fighter, and he was still up to his old tricks, just running away. Now he has lag too. Ugh. I had learned so much, and he was just... It was like he was frozen in time, forever a child. I was now well equipped to handle his nonsense. So if you've had the misfortune of running into him yourself, sit back and enjoy these two fights of me pounding this idiot. Ooh. Ah, oh, exactly the kind of person this asshole is. Oh, and he's laggy. Should be able to guard this. Hahaha. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's just the worst. He'll run away on the smallest of health advantages the entire game. He'll just do the spy to run away from you. Something wrong with these people's brains. Shoto is too slow to punish shit. He has such confidence that the fucking ice slide will, will bring him through the game. <laughs> he spit all his bar. This guy sucks go testicles. Ooh. So let this be a cautionary tale. A warning. 
should have level 2'd him. If you play cheap shit like this guy, you are not just cheating your opponent. You are cheating yourself. Get the hell out of here. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Here at the end, you can hear me musing about that very concept. The sad, sad tale of Michael Pinelli. See, last we met, we were evenly matched, basically, because it was just running away. Now it's still a little better. But now, I'm just so much better than you. And you? You're still just running away?